If you are a gardener in the state of Georgia growing beans, you will at some time or another run into the Mexican bean beetle. Good afternoon. I'm Becky Griffin, Community and School Garden Coordinator for UGA Extension. Today we're going to talk a little bit about an integrated pest management strategy for dealing with the Mexican bean beetle. When you have bean beetles in your bean patches, damage can vary from lacy leaves to complete defoliation of your bean plant. In order to understand how to combat the bean beetle, we have to learn a little bit about its biology. Mexican bean beetles came up from Mexico. And if you live east of the Rocky Mountains, they can be found in just about any bean garden or bean patch. The adult beetles overwinter in debris. It can be garden debris from your community garden plot or home garden or nearby woods, anywhere where those beetles feel protected. When the sun warms the earth early in the spring, the bean beetles will emerge and they're strong flyers, so they'll find your beans. Generally, we have a big flush of emerged bean beetles in June when it's pretty warm. There will be a secondary emergence two to four weeks later, depending on the weather. Once the bean beetles find the bean patch, the females will lay eggs on the underside of the leaves. Generally, she'll lay between 40 and 70 per batch of eggs, and she'll lay eggs multiple times. Within about a week, the eggs will hatch, and the larval stage will go through four instars. For two to five weeks, again, weather dependent, these larvae will eat on your bean leaves. Finally, we'll get to the pupal stage, which occurs around that bean plants are nearby, and depending on weather again, between one and two weeks, the adult beetle will emerge. One of the problems we have with this particular pest is that not only do the larval stages eat on your bean plants, but the adult stages do as well. If you look at this beautiful beneficial lady beetle, it's easy for gardeners to confuse this beneficial bug with the bean beetle. Make sure your pest ID is correct. So how do we come up with an integrated pest management plan? The first step is sanitation. You want to make sure at the end of your garden season you have cleaned out your bed. If you have a history of bean beetles in that particular bed, research has shown you can take that debris, put it in plastic bags, seal those bags up, and leave them for one to two weeks, and that should kill any remaining beetles in that area. Next, think about altering your planting dates. We talked about how the main group of bean beetles will emerge when the sun first warms the earth in the spring. What if you waited till that first flush was done? Then your chances of bean beetle infestation would be lower. Also think about your plant selection. If you're growing bush beans, then you know your crop will be finished early and you can move on. If you're growing pole beans, you know that plant needs to stay in the ground the whole summer and just invites bean beetles to visit. Also make sure you're starting with healthy plants. I know this is horticulture 101, but it can't be overemphasized. Make sure your plants have all the nutrition and water they need, and they may be able to tolerate some bean beetle damage. Next, think about attracting beneficial insects to your garden. We know that there are many insects that actually will help you control bean beetles, but you need to get them to your garden. By planting flowers that attract beneficial insects like wasps, they'll come to the garden and maybe do some of the bean beetle control for you. So think about adding beneficial flowers to your vegetable garden. What about floating row covers? Community garden plots are designed well and they're, they can easily adapt to having these PVC pipes added and then a floating row cover put on top. 
Beans don't have to have pollinators to make a crop for you. And by putting a floating row cover over, you have prevented bean beetles from entering your plot. Finally, scouting and removal of eggs and larvae is really easy to do when you have a small bean patch, a community garden plot of four by eight. It's not too much to ask you to look on the underside of the leaves and when you find those bright yellow eggs and those bright yellow larvae to remove them. One easy way to do that is to use packing tape. You can fold it over your hands so that the sticky side is out. Gently press the sticky side of the tape to the underside of the leaves capturing any larva or eggs. The eggs should pull off gently, saving the leaf from damage, and you can fold that tape over itself. That way you are smashing and removing any larva or eggs that you find. Education is key. Make sure you know the pest you're dealing with, know its history, and use these IPM methods to have a successful bean crop.